Now, just to uh, finish off here, the significance of this can't be understated. The, the this is a picture of the Canadians celebrating the victory after taking Vimy, and this was an image that would have been splashed across newspapers all throughout Canada, but not just Canada. This was this was the first time for Canada that they had done something on the international stage. This was really sort of globally recognized as this massive accomplishment here. So all throughout the empire, the Canadians were were Canada as a country was getting this attention, this positive affirmation here that the Canadians had done something of great significance. And the shockwave of that went across the Atlantic and it began uh, to forge Canadians together. And for a country that was kind of, you know, manufactured and um, you know, we didn't talk at length about confederation, but, you know, Canada was a country that really was was not a united nation. It was, you know, the, the prairies were sort of distinct from central Canada. Quebec had a, its, its own sort of uh, language and cultural traditions. Uh, British Columbia, you know, was disconnected and only really connected through uh, a railway line. Um, you know, there was not a lot of national unity. It was kind of fragmented. And here, all of a sudden, Canada uh, defines itself on the world stage. And um, this this really is a, uh, a moment here of, of tremendous unification, a rallying moment for our nation. And, you know, some historians would argue that Canada as a country wasn't born in 1867 at Confederation. It was, in fact, born in 1917. Uh, in the hills of Vimy Ridge. So this this is a, an enormous accomplishment here and a defining moment of Canadian nationhood and Canadian uh, independence. All right, so it's a huge, huge celebration. Now, just to going sort of fast forward to the present day, Vimy, uh, the significance of this battle is not lost. The uh, largest Canadian war monument, uh, not on Canadian soil, exists at Vimy Ridge. And in fact, the entire battlefield area was gifted to Canada by France following the war, signifying this great accomplishment. Now, if you notice in this picture, you can see you can tour the battlefield. You get these enormous, this is the legacy of this uh, battle. You can see, you know, how much was involved here in the destruction. The land is, um, you know, bears the, uh, the history very well. If you also notice here, kind of a, an, an interesting symbolic thing, Dur during the battle, the battlefield would have been decimated. There would have been no foliage, no trees, nothing. Um, but here we see this forest that sort of grows outside the battlefield. This was an additional part of the gift by, by the country of France to Canada. And uh, there are 60,000 trees that have, are planted on Vimy's uh, soil. And each tree signifies uh, a Canadian that died in this war. So, you know, this is a forest of great symbolic uh, importance as well. Okay, so you get a sense, you know, how many Canadians died here. And here is the great monument, the Vimy Monument. You've likely seen a snapshot or an image of this. Uh, you know, this has been recently restored. Um, and, uh, and it is a very impressive, maybe one of the most impressive war monuments um, that exists in Europe. And uh, I'll encourage you to watch this video because it uh, gives you a good history here, not only of the battle, uh, but, you know, of the monument itself and, um, you know, the, the legacy of this particular campaign uh, in Canadian history. So watch that one. As well, there is, um, uh, there's also a video linked to a, uh, a good summary of the Vimy campaign as narrated by William Shatner. Um, so that's worth watching as well.